What brings you out tonight? The Daytime Emmy Peer Group Celebration. And to say hi to every, all my friends that I don't get to see every day, so, you know. So, what was your first soap opera that you ever watched? <laughs> I, I don't actually know. Uh, it, it was probably something with my grandparents. I'm going to say Bold and Beautiful, because I'm on it. That only makes sense. Safe bet. Yeah, it's, it's, it feels right. So, so, when you got on the show, how did your grandparents react? They were super excited. Oh, my God. Uh, they called me right away and were like, Oh, my God, Pearson, you're on the show. Holy oh, jeez, Louise, you better not do anything naughty. And I was like, yeah, okay, calm yourself, Grandma. So how soon was it before you did something naughty? I think, like, that same day, probably. Like, literally the day I got on the show, I, I think I did something. Some sex scene or some shirtless scene that my grandma called was kind of offended by, but... But she's also, like, super excited because you're on the show. Right, she gets to watch me now every day. It's great. So what's it like interacting with some of the other soap opera stars? Because, like... Uh, every soap event, like every daytime event, everybody knows everybody. Like you know everyone that's on GH and YNR and everything. Right. Yeah, it's it's interesting because it's it's such a small world now that like everybody does know everybody, but we kind of like know each other through osmosis, just like being somewhere, or, like knowing that there's only three other shows kind of on TV right now. Uh, but it's cool because you actually get to say hi and be like, hey, you know, good job on that, you know, that Emmy performance or something like that. So it's it's fun. Yeah. And then. So how was your first day on set? We, we established that you probably did something bad, like take your shirt off or have a weird sex thing. Right. But like acting-wise, because was, was this like anything you had ever done before? No, it wasn't. Um, the, the crazy thing about soaps is how much material we shoot every day. And uh, it took me back a couple steps when I had to memorize everything and like had to really perform on that day. Being Coming from an indie film background, I was just like, this is... This is everything we shoot in like a month, so why are we doing this in one day? Uh, but it was really cool. It was, a, it was a really good experience. Frying pan into the fire, so it was awesome. Yeah. And then, do you have any advice for like people that would come from indie films to like do soaps or anything like that? Uh, number one, it's like theater for TV. You're doing a show every single day, and like the material that you're about to memorize is going to be there's so much of it so get ready and like get, get ready for boot camp acting boot camp so yeah and then what do you do between shows like you, you seem like you're in pretty good shape are you one of those guys that's like at the gym like memorizing gym memorizing gym <sighs> riding the boner side or riding the bicycle on the way to the gym and just like memorizing lines being super unsafe no uh, I for fun um, I do go to the gym I stay I try to stay in as good a shape as I possibly can but we do have to take our shirt off every day. It only makes sense. Oh, darn. I'm paid. Um, no, but I, uh, I, I'm actually working on a couple projects of my own in between. Uh, and so I get to do stuff like that and work on my directing and writing skills. Yeah. Any chance that you're going to bring that to uh, daytime? Possibly. You never know. You never know. You never know what, uh, what happens. Oh, my God. She is beautiful. Oh, my mother. Weird mother-son moment. This is yeah, my mom. It's a little mother-son moment from Jesse. Yes, back in the day we did Disney together. I don't know if you guys watch, but you better. That's it's on right. Netflix, right? If you if you've got kids, just just send them. Send We're them the to best Jesse. on the show. I just it makes sense. I did a set visit where she was doing some aerial stuff. That's right. Really? Oh, you did. You were there that day. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's static static trapeze. Why I tend to, I do that. I don't know. I, I don't know. But I'm loving this. Right. It's fun. My boy's growing up. I'm a man now. Uh, you are a man. Oh, Today God. you are a man. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to leave this interview because <laughs> right. I've now crashed it, and I'm going to let you continue. Very well. Please go. Okay, good to see you. Well. well, I mean, your mom's amazing. She's fantastic. <laughs> we look alike. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> so you were on Jesse. I, I was on Jesse. I played a... I think I was on it for five episodes, um, and I played Jesse's boyfriend, her then fiance who got dumped on the altar. Oh, God, my heart broke. Debbie Ryan, why so mean? Debbie Ryan, if you are watching this, you take me back on Jesse right now or else. Or it could be bunked because that's a spinoff. Right, totally. I actually went to visit um, the bunk set uh, a couple months back, see Peyton and Karin and all those guys, and it was so much fun. It was, it was like being back on stage, but everything is totally different now. It was, it was pretty incredible to see. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> 